This happened about two years ago, it's something I've told only one other person since. Pick is of the town, it's shit for a reason explained later. B Canuck, Vancouver area. B19 with a fresh pal and ability to legally drink. Plan a trip up north. Dad tells me about an old abandoned mining town his friend worked at in the 60s, gives us location. Decide to bring native bro from high school, we both own guns. Ask my dad if I can borrow his AWD Honda passport from the 90s, he accepts. Bro brings SVT 40, I bring SMLE number 1 Mark 3. Drive past Kamloops by about 200 kilometers. Takes about two days of driving. Spend one uneventful night at abandoned trailer park. Eventually find ourselves on back roads using ancient maps dad provided. Modern maps and GPS don't have the roads on record. Clearly old logging roads. Not used for at least a few years. Eventually reach old town. Desolate as fuck. A few collapsing wood buildings. Starting to get late but light enough to snap a few pics. Brought old Nick an FM2 because didn't want to risk my digital. Bro and I set up camp next to car in open semi-gravel area. Use wood from old buildings as firewood. Gets dark, cook a few cans of beans and some salmon native bro caught a few days before. Out comes the beer. Head to tent mildly inebriated, decide to go in a woods the next day. Late night slash early morning hear multiple human footsteps outside. Probably just native bro, go back to sleep and on. Realize native bro is sleeping next to me about 5 minutes later. Wake up bro quietly, both grab rifles and open tent. Nothing there. Go back to sleep and on, probably just a dream. Agree with bro and sleep, wake up next morning somewhat early. Native bro already awake making breakfast. Frying god tier canned sardines. Anon. It wasn't a dream. Takes a minute for mine to remember. Bro points at multiple boot tracks into campsite. Not ours for sure. I'm visibly more creeped out than native bro. Native bro grew up on shitty reselve, seen some shit etc. Decide we'll lock our gear in the car. Both of us want to investigate. Consult map. Go in a woods with day packs of limited food, water, first aid oil lamps and flashlights as well. We each have a reasonable amount of ammo. 40 rounds of new production pair V174 GRFM J.303. Bro has a couple of X54R stripper clips in his coat pocket. Start moving in the direction of the footsteps. Native bro is a good hunter, tracker but loses the trail about a mile in. Decide to continue in the direction of the track's amp base. Creeped out at this point, native bro is pissed that he lost the tracks. Hike about 5 miles. Find some more abandoned stuff. Starts getting dark. Realize we got carried away and realize it'd be unwise to head back. Eat some cold beans since we don't want to attract attention with the fire and then sleep. Wake up in the middle of the night to whispering. Takes a minute for eyes to adjust to low light. Look over at sleeping native bro. There's two black cloaked figures over him. One is touching his face, they're talking in English but not audibly. Just about shit myself. SMLE is across my lap. Flip off safety as quietly as can. One of them starts reaching for bro's SVT next to him. Raise rifle to my hip slowly, pointing it in their general direction. Fire off the first shot, Thor's hammer.png. The fuckers see me rise up while working the bolt and run. They stat screaming like you'd expect someone getting their eyes ripped out to. Native bro practically shits himself and gets down. Mad minute into the forest. Takes us about a minute of frantically throwing our gear together to get out. Panic and start running in a random direction. Get cut up running through brush. Native bro and I are somewhat fit, both in army cadets since we were young. Run for a good 20 minutes, stop to catch our breath. Anon what the fuck? Explain what happened to bro. He looks horrified, more than usual. 
tells me about some cult that committed crimes on his reserve. Says RCMP couldn't do anything since it was native land. Link to disappearances and child abuse. Reserve is maybe 200 km from us. Nobody ever convicted. When our nerves calm we consult our map and compass. Realize there's a clearing near us and use that to navigate. Four go lights in favor of quiet movement. Move slowly for about six hours, periodic map and compass checks. Tired as fuck when we arrive at the tree lean near the camp. Despite being dark we realize there's movement in our camp. 3. Hooded figures and what seems to be a man with a deer's head trying to get into the car. Hands are shaking, mom's spaghetti. Start moving down the hill. Not paying attention because of no sleep. Foot catches root. Crash and roll downhill. Fettuccine Alfredo.jpg Cut up and bruised but otherwise fine. All four of them are screaming and moving towards me. Unaware of native bro still being in the tree lean. Deer head leader is naked, cock flailing everywhere. He's about 10 feet away from me, realize he's got a fucking hatchet. Realize I won't be able to raise my SMLE in time. I am going to die here. Gif. Make my peace with the god emperor. Two shots ring out in rapid succession. Dear man drops his hatchet, clutches his chest, pulls one leg up, and fucking drops, continuing, probably the last part. Pick related, it's the SMLE and my dad's car. Hooded figures hesitant now that their leader, just took some Soviet glory to the chest. Pick myself up and raise SMLE. Sort of aim at the middle of the three and fire. What assumed to be a hip shot drops him. He's screaming like a motherfucker. At this point native bro is next to me. Out of what suppose was pure anger one of them charges us with a long knife, maybe a short sword. Native bro and both fire a shot, we both hit him. Practically goes limp instantly. Last remaining uninjured fucker tries dragging his injured friend off. I'm hesitant to shoot since they're backing off but native bro shoots the uninjured one in the head. He keeps moving for about a half a second before dropping. We check the bodies, realize that deer man was just a guy wearing the head of a deer. X54R blew his chest open, blood and mashed organ every ear. Last two were dead as fuck. Old rounds like that really mash organs and bone. Last guy remaining alive is pleading for his life. Realize he's not pleading with us. Screaming into the sky about some sort of strangely named deity, god, whatever, can't remember it for the life of me. Anon, we can't let him live. Realize native bro is right, threat of cult coming after us or police finding out is too great if he lives. Don't want to do it, offer SMLE to native bro. He simply kneels down and slits this guy's throat. Whispers something something for Sierra. We pick up as much of our brass as we can, pack up the car, and get the fuck out. Light out by the time we get on a main road. Adrenaline dying down, realize that just killed someone. Break down in the car and cry like a bitch. Pull over and have a bro talk about it, tells me we did it in self-defense. Feel like there's more to it for him, sober up and continue on the road. We take it easy and stay at motels the rest of the way back, continuing. Definitely the last part. End up eating at the white spot in hope. Completely silent over the meal. Realize how hungry am, barely ate twice on the way back. Remainder of the ride back is spent in complete silence. Drop native bro off at his apartment in North Van. We exchange an awkward silence and a few smiles. He hugs me for some reason, call it gay if you want but I needed that shit. Get back home, lock bedroom door, keep loaded SMLE next to bed. Sleep for the better part of a day and a half. Meet up with dad to return car. Remember what native bro said about Sierra? Turns out she was bro's older sister who was kidnapped as a kid, ended up an alcoholic and druggy, hanged herself when she was 16. Shit bricks. Ask dad why town was abandoned. Well anon, 
the mine dried up and many of the residents resorted to illegal industry to make a living. Ask specifics. Said he doesn't know, he'll ask his friend who lived there. Friend died six months later of lung cancer. Never had the chance to ask him. Even more frustrating than the nightmares is not knowing what the fuck happened. Can't seem to find the town or the town's name online, and I've since wanted to go back with a larger group. Probably going to wait a few years, though. Pick related, it's some of my guns. I still own that damn SMLE.